it's Pete from Cheap Homesteading and today we're in the greenhouse and I wanted to um, just give you a quick update on how it's going. Uh, a lot of things worked out really well. Some things I've been struggling with and we definitely have some sort of rodent problem with I don't I, I don't know if it's a mole or what it is but it's eating the bag so I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so we decided to go with these grow bags and uh, as the most part I'm super happy with them. Uh, the only unattended things that I've never thought of that was happening is basically, um, I don't know, there's a mole or something on the inside that's eating the bags. Uh, and there's only a few of them. They're not all of them. So I really need to get going through these bags. And my plan was to mix all the soil up again. I got to yank these out before they go, uh, go to uh, seed. I got to do this in the next couple days because some of these uh, weeds are about ready to go to seed. They're flowering anyways. So my whole idea was to have a box like this in the greenhouse that I could dump all the bags into. I could add peat moss, add some manure, mix it around, refill the bags. Um, before I bought the bags, I looked into the fact that uh, can they be disinfected? It looks like you can use peroxide. So when I dump out the bags, I'll disinfect the bags. And then we will let them dry out and then we'll just refill them and get them all ready to actually start planting uh, in the next little bit. A lot of the plants are doing great. I still have to thin out some things, but they're actually coming along really, really nice. Here is my broccoli. Uh, it's coming along nice. I planted that uh, kind of close to the time I should. It took a little while to come up. I think the cold really had an effect. Um, here's the leeks. And those are green onions, white onions, these tomatoes, these tomatoes were taking a long time to come up. They're coming up now. Uh, the cherry tomatoes did better than the beefsteak tomatoes. Um, the beefsteak tomatoes are sparse, but there's still some coming up here and there. So I... You know what? They are super, super late. And what I'm going to do is basically just plant them in the garden. I'm going to hope for the best by the end of the year, uh, but we'll probably go buy a few tomato plants so we can actually have a summer <laughs> amount of tomatoes anyways. Um, I should have a crop off them by the end of the year, so I'm just hoping most of the tomatoes come up and they start growing good. Next time, I'm going to probably uh, let them sprout inside the house and then bring them out into the greenhouse. The greenhouse is warm, but there's a lot of fluctuations and I'm wondering if that had an effect. I overflowed my barrel. Okay, right, so if you've been around last year, you've seen my water barrel in the corner and I have drip irrigation hooked to everything. The drip irrigation is turned off right now, but it is handy. I just fill the barrel and then I can refill my uh, watering containers and I don't have to go up the hill. So even that is a bit of a an improvement for sure. So here is my peppers. <laughs> they are tiny, tiny, but they're still coming. I'm hoping everything's gonna start kicking into high gear. Um, I've got some romaine. I transplanted some romaine. Uh, my cucumbers are looking good. The second leaf is the third leaf is coming in. I've got some cilantro, it's coming up, basil, onions again. What are these things? I forget. These are kale. I'm going to have to thin them out. And uh, celery. I have a lot of celery. It is awful tiny. i got to uh, get in there and thin out a little bit. And this is, I forget what this is. I think this is kale. Better shut off the water over here. Here we go. Try to hook up uh, a hose in here so I don't have to transfer it every time back into a watering can. But it's much better than carrying watering cans up the uh, up the hill and back. 
So my, I think my tomatoes, my peppers are behind. Uh, I think what happened there is I pre-sprayed my peppers, which was a good thing, but uh, there's a lot of temperatures up and down in the greenhouse. It was cool. And what I should have done is maybe kept my peppers and my tomatoes kind of in a warmer environment uh, for a little bit longer um, and then put everything out in the greenhouse. I think it's kind of a part of a learning experience. Um, unless I actually had a furnace in here, the wood stove, you had these warm and cool times. So I'd start the fire before bed, it'd be nice and warm, it'd go through the night, and then it'd be kind of cool by morning, you'd start it up, it'd fire up, and the sun would start to warm it up. Um, so I think that might have slowed it down just a little bit. Uh, so I don't know, maybe next time we'll try to think of some exterior heat that can kind of just tide it over throughout the night. We can try that, but... Um, I feel like it's a pretty good success. Everything is starting to come up. Um, this is the middle of April plant. So your squashes and a lot of that stuff just got planted. So it's not up. But I'll show you my squashes and how many I'm thinking of planting anyway. Okay, so this is the cabbages. The cabbages are coming up pretty good. This whole section is cabbages and most of them are coming up. Uh, the Brussels sprouts. They're starting to come up. The Brussels sprouts are starting to come up. All these three rows are Brussels sprouts right to the end. Uh, cantaloupe. So we got a section of cantaloupe here. And then we have... Uh, what in the world? Oh, honeydew. So these back sections, honeydew. Butternut squash. I love butternut squash. Uh, so I have two rows of butternut squash here. Spaghetti squash, one row here. Uh, what is this? Pie pumpkins and acorn squash. So I've got a lot of acorn squash. Acorn squash is great and it lasts a long time. So I've got two, row, well, two rows and a bit. And then I started some red cabbage. And I tried some watermelons. These are the watermelons that kind of work out here. So I kind of, watermelons are a tough thing to grow in a uh, short season. So you definitely do need to start them. So I'm gonna finish up watering. In the next week or so, we'll be redoing the soil and all these bags are gonna be emptied and disinfected. So I'm kind of interested to see uh, if I find anything when I start digging in there. Uh, I don't know, I've got glimpses every morning of something pretty black um, and fairly reasonably large running around. Now, I'm wondering if that is a mole or if that's a mouse, but normally it doesn't look, when you look at it, you don't see this black thing um, when you look at a mouse or a rat. So I'm like, I really need to find out what this is. So if you have any suggestions, if it's a, a mole, how do you trap those things? I'll have to kind of research that for sure. You know what, that's about enough for this morning. I'm finished watering the plants. I'm gonna open the vents and it should be good to go for the rest of the day. Um, so that's about enough for today. You guys have a good one.